It's time for the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Each week, Trading Stocks Made Easy demystifies stock trading and investing so you can profit big. And now, here's the host of Trading Stocks Made Easy, the wealthy investor, Tyrone Jackson. Well, hello, hello, hello. Are you there? It's time for another Trading Stocks Made Easy, and I'm your host, Tyrone Jackson. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button wherever you get your podcast. so every time I do a new show, you'll be the first to know. Don't you want to stay in the know? I know you do. Well, today's show is going to be a lot of fun because today I'm talking family legacy stocks. Now, if you're the type of person who listens to the Trading Stocks Made Easy starring Tyrone Jackson, can I say starring? Yeah, I think I could say starring. Uh, one of the things that you all seem to like is this notion of information. When I'm educating you about the value of investing in stocks, how the whole game works, and I seem to be able to break it down in layman's terms. So many of you tell me that all the time, and I have a no intention of breaking that pattern. Well, today we're going to talk about not only having a millionaire's mindset, your money beliefs, a billionaire's mindset is what we're shooting for next, and how you can help your family. Is there a way, just from listening to this show, that you can begin to plant the right seeds and start making millions for your family, or at least putting them on the right track? The answer, of course, is yes. So if I were going to help you, the only thing I ever ask in return is that you help someone else. You put this podcast in your social media, let other people know that it's out there. If you really enjoy the show, I really appreciate that. So feel free to share this podcast on Twitter, Facebook, uh, even TikTok, if that's your thing. Let's get the word out there and let's help as many people as possible. And I'm sure this episode will enlighten you and all that you share it with. Okay, here we go. So uh, why do people invest in stocks? Well, obviously, because we want the price of the stock that we're investing in to rise. What makes a stock rise? Well, revenue, right? That means how much money is the company actually generating in top line revenue? You see, when you buy a mutual fund, you're basically letting somebody else buy a basket of stocks and you're hoping that they pick right. Nothing wrong with that, but I prefer that you learn how to buy stocks directly. Well, stocks, as I've talked about many times before, are assets. Just like your house or your condo, it's an asset that appreciates over time. The goal in the stock market is to first be willing to be patient and number two, become really good at picking stocks that have the opportunity or the greatest probability of going higher. So what's going to determine your ability to pick stocks? We're going to go right back to where we always go on the show. It's your money beliefs. You see, one of the reasons that more people aren't rich in our world is they have limited beliefs about money and they don't have a financial education. Unfortunately, when you and I were in school, grammar school, grade school, middle school, high school, college, and even grad school, we learn a lot of theory. We learn a lot of history, but there is no class on becoming a self-directed investor, and there ought to be. And there is no class on how to build wealth. Why? Well, in the United States, at least, uh, we're into teaching people how to trade time for money. So as you know, if you listen to the show often, that you're never going to get rich trading time for dollars, right? Because if somebody's paying you to work a 40, 45-hour work week, your labor costs are fixed as it relates to their business, and they have a profit that they're shooting for on top of those labor costs. They don't go into business to make you rich, right? They go into business to pay you a livable wage so that you can have a profession. How do you break that cycle? Well, first, you need a financial education, and you have to realize that in your life, you've been programmed to trade time for dollars. If someone shows up in your life like me and I go, hey, there's nothing wrong with time for dollars, but you really should be taking some of your money and shooting for wealth and financial freedom, it changes your life. And that's why I like being in the change your life business 
Because when you help people raise their consciousness beyond what they've been taught, they take different actions. So you and I partnering together forever can make everlasting changes. So I want to show you how right now, just because you listen to the show, you can plant the right seeds. We're going to talk about stocks and their performance over the last 15 to 20 years. Now, when you're investing in stocks or companies that you think will be around for the next 20 years, you have a tremendous, tremendous wealth opportunity if you're buying stocks in a separate account, holding them for your family. So let me illustrate for you how wealth is nothing but a series of positive habits and how you can build your family's legacy right now and you don't even have to have a lot of money. So follow me on this. Families that invest in the stock market are usually growing their assets alongside their real estate assets. So 20 years ago, there's a company called McDonald's that was trading publicly 20 years ago. Now, I'm going to give you the stock ticker symbol for McDonald's. It is MCD. 20 years ago, back in the early 2000s, those shares were trading at 30 dollars a share. All you needed was an online trading account and 30 bucks and you could have picked up at least at least one share of McDonald's for $30. Now, did you know that the McDonald's corporation would be around 20 years from then? No. But when you're investing for your family's legacy, you want to choose companies who you think will be around and generating revenue 20 years from now. So, let me ask you this. You've had uh, a Big Mac and fries at some point in your life. Do you think that that combination of Big Mac fries, also known as the number one, by the way, do you think that that company will be around 20 years from today? Well, let me show you if you were forward thinking about the future, which all wealthy people are, how well you would have done. McDonald's 20 years ago were trading at $30 a share. And the share price today is $255. So therefore, $30,000, if you had that financial education 20 years ago, is now worth what? Over $250,000. All you did was hold on to those McDonald's shares for 20 years. Now, let's think this one through together. Let's say you had a child who was born 20 years ago and you picked up 1,000 shares. That child, who's probably in college now, could have had all of their college paid for. Why? Because all you had to do was sell your shares of McDonald's that you bought for $30,000, which today is worth $250,000. If the college tuition is $50,000 a year, have you paid for that college tuition? Yes, but it was really your investment that paid for it. Do you get it? So this is why families who are wealthy, own stock portfolios. But the key here, if you want to build a family legacy, generally speaking, is to choose stocks that pay a dividend. Why? Because over 30 years, while you were holding that position, dividend checks were showing up in your house. So they call this in the stock market being paid to wait. So if you want to do something tremendous for your family, your daughter, your grandkid, your niece or nephew, couldn't you get 10 shares of McDonald's at today's price or five shares of McDonald's at today's price or even one share and put it in that person's name along with their social security number and a TD Ameritrade account? The answer is yes. Now, I know this is going to sound really simple. The reason that most people aren't rich is because they never plan to be rich. Let me say that again. The reason that most people aren't rich or experiencing financial freedom is they never plan for it. And it's hard to believe that just the power of your consciousness and making a plan will make a difference in your future. But that's how it works. If you are not reinforced with planning and thinking towards the future, then you just are living for today. And you deserve so much more financially than just living for today. You can do this. You will do this if you're willing to take a couple of simple actions. A, open a TD Ameritrade online brokerage account. It's totally free. 
B, fund it with 500 bucks and buy some Dow stocks. Well, we know those McDonald's shares did very well over the past 20 years. I gave you the example of 1,000 shares. I don't expect you to go out and buy 1,000 shares, right? But I want to show you the power of the right consciousness, financial education, and planning for the future. Obviously, if you listen to me every single week, you want to do better in your life. You want to have a grander future financially. You want life to get easier for you financially. That's why you're listening to this show. So do we think McDonald's will be around 20 years from now? Probably. Might people be ordering things on the app in more sophisticated delivery systems? Sure. But McDonald's, high likelihood it's going to be around. Today, it's a member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and I expect it to be that way at least for the next 10 years. Now, let's take a look at another brand that also does really well. That's a member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is ticker symbol KO. Do you know what KO is? It actually is the Coca-Cola Company. Now, this is interesting because we see this a lot in the stock market. Here comes the education you should have gotten in junior high school. But I teach this in the Wealthy Investor Program, and it blows people's mind. McDonald's and Coca-Cola have a relationship. You know, when you go to McDonald's and you get a drink from the fountain, have you ever noticed that it's all Coca-Cola products? Right. We refer to that in the Wealthy Investor Program as a co-relationship. When a company has a relationship with another company that's also publicly traded, therefore, when one does well, the other does well. Well, 20 years ago, McDonald's shares were trading at what? $27 a share. Could you have purchased one share? Yes. If you were alive at that time, it was a high probability you had an extra $27 somewhere in the world. Well, 20 years later, those shares are trading at what? $67. Uh Uh-oh. Why is it McDonald's stock really took off and Coca-Cola's didn't? Well, there are a series of complex reasons to that, but the short answer is times change. 20 years ago, people drank almost exclusively carbonated beverages to quench their thirst. Today, the world is much more health conscious. So we drink less products. We consume less products like Coca-Cola because we realize that the ingredients might not always be the best if we want to live a longer life. So today, most consumers consume more paid water than ever before in the history of the world. Did you know that? Right. So imagine if there are certain companies that are in the purified water business, what their stocks are doing. See, this is really interesting because all of a sudden when you know what to look for in terms of patterns and consumers' behaviors, you can then decide if the company is something you should own shares in. Now, you didn't do terrible over the last 20 years holding Coca-Cola shares because Coca-Cola issues a dividend. Now, isn't this interesting that the richest man in the world, Warren Buffett, considered by many to be the best investor of all time, what are his two biggest holdings, McDonald's and Coca-Cola? Do you think he noticed this co-relationship 20 years ago? Of course he did. So learning how to trade and more importantly, invest for your family cannot be that difficult. You just need a guide through the process of investing. McDonald's did very well. Coca-Cola did okay over 20 years, but I'm wondering if there's some other stocks you could have held in your portfolio that have done and will do even better in the future. I'll share that with you as soon as we come back, right after this. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? Then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. 
All right. Hey, today we're talking about sharing this podcast with other people and making sure you click that subscribe button wherever you get your podcast, even if it's on YouTube. So every time I post a new episode, you'll get an alert. Hey, listen, we're talking about today's show, this idea of family legacy, planting seeds for your family, collecting dividends over a 20 year period of time, buying stocks as they rise in companies that we think will be around 20 years from now. Check out this ticker symbol, J&J. Do you know what that stands for? Johnson & Johnson, the -the over-the-counter pharmaceutical company, which is also, by the way, a member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Well, 20 years ago, their shares were trading at around $65 a share. And where are they now 20 years later? $182 a share. Not bad. Not bad. Why? What did you do all of that time? Well, you followed their story and you collected dividends. So if we had McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Johnson & Johnson, and we were just sitting on those shares for 20 years, we were getting paid because our dividend checks were sent home to us, and we were also building wealth. Now, let me give you one other principle that accelerates wealth building. So if I took a position in Johnson & Johnson five years ago for 65 bucks, what could I do once a year? Well, if the stock is actually rising, I'm going to add to that position. We refer to it in the Wealthy Investor Program as building a position. And we only build positions on stocks that rise. So if I'm really serious about building a family legacy, I just don't buy a bunch of shares once and hope that it works out. I buy a bunch of shares and once a year I check in on that portfolio and I buy more of only the stocks that are rising. Well, if you keep buying more of the stocks that are rising, you're getting wealthier and wealthier as a shareholder. What happens if Johnson & Johnson buys another company? We call this non-organic growth in the stock market. What would happen to their top line revenue? It would rise, which would create a demand for the stock price. See, it's not that difficult. It's all about your education and your intentions. And this is the thing that's so interesting about the stock market. If you don't have that financial education, get this, you don't know what you're missing out on. In other words, you don't know what you don't know right? And there's a large segment of the population around the world that does not know how or what stocks to own to create wealth. And this is one reason why the rich stay richer, because all wealth is taught and wealthy people teach their kids to buy stocks to hold on to for family legacy. Now, the thing that I really love about owning stocks for the long term in a separate account from my active trading is that I don't really have to do anything. These big companies are doing the work for you. So when it's time to pay for college or time to retire, guess what? You can have a seven-figure portfolio. Now, Here's where the element of risk comes in, because when we own companies like McDonald's, Coca-Cola, J&J, they are proven. Could you sprinkle that long-term portfolio with some new name technologies? Could you sprinkle that portfolio with new name technology stocks? Yes. But remember, you want to first start investing in the companies that are already proven themselves. So what's a new name technology that we're about to invest in? The company was called Google, and now it calls itself Alphabet. The ticker symbol is G-O-O-G-L. Now, even though the company has changed its name to Alphabet, How it makes its money online selling advertising is still the same. Do you think that Google will be around 20 years from now? Huh. In some way, shape, or form, they will. We know that Google owns YouTube, and YouTube is gaining speed and picking up advertising revenue at a rapid pace. Well, did you know that 15 years ago, Google shares were trading at $50 per share? And what are they now? $2,821 a share. And we know that sometime in 2022, the shares are going to split 24-1. Now, when those shares split, it'll be a tremendous buying opportunity for anyone who wants to buy shares. Because instead of paying $2,821 for shares... 
the shares are going to split it around 150 bucks. Now, if you use Google every single day on your phone or desktop and you don't own shares in the company, something is wrong. Because 15 years ago, $50,000 is now worth what? $2.8 million. So why am I bringing up Google Alphabet right now? Because we are in a time where you can create millions and millions and millions of dollars in your family legacy if you take action when? Right now. Now, I'm not here to promote Google, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, or Johnson & Johnson. I'm here to educate you as to what the opportunities are. And we're living at a terrific time in history where these companies are making billions and billions of dollars. And over the next 20 years, they're going to earn trillions of dollars. So does that mean that you're probably in the right place at the right time, listening to the right show, feeding your consciousness with really good information? Why are you watching all these murder shows on cable and wasting all of your time on TikTok when you should be planting the right seeds to become a stock market millionaire? What you focus on in this life grows. What you focus on expands. If you focus on becoming an educated investor and a stock market millionaire, when you put your intentions behind that, what do you think are going to happen? Your financial life has to change. And that's why I'm so grateful you take time to listen to this show every single week because, well, it's really great stuff for your consciousness. Share it. I'm Tyrone Jackson, The Wealthy Investor, saying I'll see you next time right here on the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. You've been listening to the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Be sure to rate and review our show on iTunes. While you're on iTunes, be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll automatically receive our next episode. 